بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين اللهم نستهديك لأرشد أمرنا ورزقنا علما ينفعنا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We are back this Friday afternoon for our series of brief reflections on the life and legacy of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. First, we did something of an introduction, and after that, we spoke of the proofs of prophethood. After that, we spoke about some of the meanings that we can take from the seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and now we're going to speak about what are called the shama'il. The shama'il, which is plural of shamila. And what that means is uh, the physical traits of the Prophet wasallam, his description, as well as his characteristics and personality traits, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it's important for us to uh, have a basic understanding, a basic knowledge of some of the shama'il of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in order for us to really appreciate who he was to the fullest extent possible. Meaning what? We can all read the Quran when Allah subhanahu wa taala addresses the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam directly and uh, speaks about something that happened in his life or gives him some instruction about how to act in a, certain, in a certain area of his life. We can read some ahadith of the Prophet ﷺ, whether his words or his actions or his tacit approvals being reported to us, but we won't get a picture of the Prophet ﷺ in our minds and, and really imagine him as a real person until we know what he was like, both in terms of his physical appearance and how he acted with people. So we're going to uh, very briefly speak about some of the Shama'il, and I encourage everyone to read the work of uh, Al-Imam at tirmidhi the great Hadith scholar um, who probably has the most popular work on Shama'il, and it's available uh, in English translation, so that is highly recommended. Um, but we want to first look at some of the physical uh, characteristics of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then some of his uh, personality traits and some of the things that he liked and some of the things that he did. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was of the perfect height and the perfect physique, right? the perfect stature, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, all right? meaning that what? He was not... Uh, excessively tall, right? Like we would say, uh, like a basketball player, right? Somebody that is, uh, you know, seven feet tall, right? That's exceedingly tall. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was not that, um, nor was he uh, abnormally short, all right? Short, nor was he shorter than average, all right? But he had the perfect stature, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the perfect physique, all right? So it's said that he was uh, built, all right, well built, broad shoulders, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and even in his uh, his older age, right, he, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam passed away when he was 60 years old, he had a, a flat uh, stomach, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, all right, he uh, was not very hairy, he had some chest hair and a line of hair going down and some hair on his arms, his beard, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was very thick and it could be seen from behind. Meaning that what some of the companions, they relate that we knew that the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, was reciting the Quran in the silent prayers because as we were standing behind him, kind of from the side, we can see his beard moving, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And uh, his hair was wavy 
right? So if you if you consider everything about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is uh, wasatu, it's 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 moderate, all right. So his hair was neither straight nor was it uh, tightly curled, but wavy, all right, and black hair, and he had just a few gray hairs, both on his head and in his beard, to where you could actually count the number. Um, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. His complexion, again, was one of moderation, the perfect complexion, meaning that he was not uh, very dark skinned, nor was he uh, very pale white, but uh, something in between. All right. So if we uh, are familiar with the typical complexion of the Arabs, they have brown skin. So the Prophet uh, it, 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 normally we say they have brown skin. People from Yemen, people from Saudi Arabia, people from Oman and uh, the Gulf states, right? They have uh, brown skin. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we could say he was a light-skinned Arab, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So uh, not white, meaning very pale, and not uh, extremely dark, but a, uh, a, a nice tan color, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When it comes to some of the behaviors of the Prophet وسلم, then he would walk fast. He was very swift in his walk to the point where some of the companions said that he would walk so fast we would, we would have to actually pick up the pace in order to keep up and it was as if he was on a, a downward incline, all right, the speed with which he would walk وسلم. And when he spoke to someone, he would give that person their full attention, meaning that if he turned to them, he wouldn't just turn with his head to look at the person, but he would turn his whole body in order to direct himself to whoever was speaking to him or to whoever, uh, to whoever he was speaking with. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He would never point his finger, all right, like, that, like I just did, but he would point his, his hand. Whenever he was uh, calling attention to something, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Whenever he would speak, he would speak in a way that was uh, measured and articulate, to the extent that uh, Aisha radiallahu anha said that you, if you wanted to count his words, you could do so. All right. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam spoke very clearly. Um, some other characteristics, some personality traits. Um, it said that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was, of course, very kind, uh, very gentle and mild mannered, very personable, uh, very approachable. Um, there's a beautiful hadith uh, related in the Shema of at Tirmidhi, where Anas ibn Malik, radiallahu an, who served the Prophet uh, from the time that he was ten years old to the time that he was twenty, when the Prophet passed, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So he lived with him in his home. Uh, and, and served him, or not lived in his home, but uh, served him domestically uh, for a decade. Um, he said that the Prophet ﷺ, in the whole time that he was serving him in his, in his home, that he never asked him, why did you do something like this, if he did something wrong? Or if he neglected something, he never asked him, why didn't you do uh, what I told you to do? All right. But he was always patient and gentle with him. Now, this is a boy saying this. All right. And we all know how uh, frustrating and annoying small children can be uh, when they don't listen. All right. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his his patience and forbearance and gentleness is something that uh, you can see in his daily life. Um, some other things that we can look at. Uh, and these are just of interest for those of us that want to follow uh, some of the favorite foods of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's narrated that uh, he loved squash. Uh, it's one of his favorite foods uh, to the extent that uh, one of the companions said that uh, he saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam once as they were having a meal together um, trying to scoop up the squash on the platter. Uh, meaning that he wanted to get more because he enjoyed it so much. And he said that from that moment, I loved squash. All right, So 
if ever, uh, whenever you eat squash, if for those of us that like squash, um, then know that that's a sunnah of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one of his favorite foods. Another thing that the Prophet liked to eat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was uh, barley bread with salt and vinegar. All right. Now, I don't know where we can find uh, whole barley bread, uh, but if you can, uh, it's recommended that you do so and eat it with the intention of following the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, so, these are just uh, some glimpses into uh, the Shama'il. And again, I highly encourage for more detail um, and, and, and a more uh, extensive uh, examination that everyone uh, get an English translation uh, if you can't read the Arabic. And if you can, alhamdulillah, read Arabic, then to uh, have that work in your library, um, it will fill your heart with uh, love and admiration of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And with that, uh, we will close and hopefully, uh, inshallah, we will see you next Friday where we will speak about the khasa'is, the exclusive traits of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Jazakumullahu khairan for listening. Wassalamu alaikum.